My name is Caroline Wickham-Jones and I'm a lecturer at the University of Aberdeen. I'm part of the team that's working on Europe's lost world, our drowned landscapes. I'm an archaeologist and my role is to help to look at the submerged world around Orkney, to try to help reconstruct what it would have been like when it was dry land and to research the lives of the people who lived there. I reckon I'm very lucky to be able to work in such a beautiful place as Orkney. It's where I live as well and my home is my lab. For me, science has, has been a fantastic career. It's taken me to some amazing places and I've met some really interesting people. I have to say that the, uh, the travel has certainly been a good spin-off. But, uh, but perhaps most of all, I've just been working in something that I've always really wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to be an archaeologist from when I was a little girl, when I was about 10 years old. And I used to go out on the North York Moors where I lived and search for ancient sites. Mind you, it's not all glamour. I'm not working outside and making discoveries all the time. A lot of the time I'm indoors. And when I am outside, it's cold, it's windy or it's raining or all three at once. For me, keeping my weather gear in good order has been extremely important. People often ask, what's the most interesting thing that I've found? And I know that my answer always disappoints them because it's not gold or anything jazzy like that. I have worked on gold. I've excavated a gold hoard about 3,000 years old. But really, there's a limited amount that you can do with gold and it's quite boring. So for me, the most important thing I've found and the most exciting thing has definitely been the thousands of stone tools that we found on the island of Rum off the west coast of Scotland. They showed that people had been living there 8,000 years ago and at the time it really changed the way that we think about the first settlers of Scotland. We just not really thought that... Um, that people lived so far north so long ago. It seems amazing now because we take these things for granted, but at the time it was certainly something new. One of the things I like about archaeology is that uh, it keeps you on your toes. You need to expect the unexpected. We're dealing with people after all, and people never do what you think they're going to. So you have to be prepared for surprises. And there's always new techniques being developed, new ways of finding out more about the people that interest us. So uh, you have to be, you, ha you have to learn to be adaptable and, and there's always uh, something else you can do. That's one of the things that I like about working in, in the underwater archaeology. It's a new field. I was trained as a, a land archaeologist and now here I am working a lot of the time on a boat. Mind you, I, I try not to get wet. I've managed to avoid diving so far, although... Um, the work that we do does involve diving. But there's so many ways now of looking at the underwater world through remote sensing and using video cameras and things. You can really feel that you're down there, get an idea of what the divers are seeing, of what, uh, what might be down there, of exploring a new world. And I just find that really exciting.